What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be working on the father-daughter go-kart that uh, we started 27 years ago. So what we got to do is take the A-arms off because if you remember one side was bent and the reason why we're taking both of them off is I'm going to send the good one with my brother and he's going to build me a new one. They have pipe benders and junk at his work so let him do the hard stuff. Uh, then we also need to cut that brake setup that I I did a long time ago, cut it all off, and then finally uh, get ready to pull the axle to beat that rotor off. I don't know if y'all remember much about this, but the rotor got seized on the axle. I'll explain it in a little bit, but first uh, let's pull this A-arm off. Okay, there's the front end of the go-kart. As you can see, that A-arm is perfectly fine down there, while that one has a little bit of cattywampness to it. Uh, we had heated it up with a torch and beat it out as best we could, but it's definitely messing up the whole front end, and then we're going to put new bushings in both the wheels. As you can see, that one's uh, cambered out like a 95 Civic, and uh, this one is as well. So we're going to also replace the uh, tie rods, I guess you would call those, because both of them are bent quite a bit. As you can see, that one has got a pretty good bend to it as well. Then as we move on back to the rear of her go-kart, uh, if you remember, we did this brake setup right here. And uh, we got to cut all of it off because I'm taking that cable brake off and putting a, a hydraulic set off of eBay. Now this uh, brake set that I am putting on this, uh, the links will be in the description where you can uh, find it and buy it yourself. They're about 45 bucks, but the only bad thing is they come from China. So the first thing we need to do is uh, get this thing up on jack stands, pull the tires off, and uh, yeah, just get to uh, pulling them A-arms off. Okay, we got that up on a jack stand. Now we're going to take out two bolts. Uh, we got this longer bolt that holds the rear of the A-arm and that bolt that holds the front. And really, we only need to take off this one because that's the one he's going to use to uh, build the other one. But uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this one off as well. So uh, first we'll start by pulling the tires off. Taking that one nut off right there, and uh, we should be golden. And of course, you can see where my air hose is going. So I'm going to have to open the garage door real quick and grab my air hose. Okay, we just got the wheels pulled off there. Now we're gonna take the two A-arms off, which is the four bolts, two on each side. And uh, I'm probably gonna buy new bolts because I remember the ones that was in that side that's all bent up uh, actually had some threads that was ate up on it. So uh, we'll definitely be going ahead and replacing all the bolts on it. And I'm pretty sure I need to buy new shocks. I think these shocks are like 50 bucks. Uh, but I do have some Kawasaki Bayou shocks right there so we're gonna pull those out tonight and uh, see if they may work for our application okay so we got those uh, Bayou shocks and these smaller ones of course are the front shocks off the Bayou and don't know if you can see that but they're coming up a, a little bit short but this Bayou most four-wheelers only got a single rear shock you know kind of dead center of the whole uh, swing arm type thing and uh, lucky me this thing looks like it'll work almost perfect. It may even lift the front end a little bit. So um, we're going to throw these on it for now. So all we're going to do is take the uh, Allen head bolt and uh, the nut off top and bottom and go ahead and see if uh, these new ones will slide right in there. Okay, we've got our 9 16 and our quarter uh, Allen head. Let's go ahead and uh, start pulling these bad boys out. Okay, when looking at it, you can tell 
that the plastic inside there is definitely busted up from uh, where this thing has been just thrashed on and you can tell at the uh, upgrade this is definitely going to be that's a huge difference in uh, shock size and uh, strength you can feel the weight difference on this four-wheeler shock and of course we'll clean this at a later date I'm not really worried about that right now so let's uh pull this uh bolt out and slap it right back in that shock tower okay as you can see that it's uh it's not wanting to quite fit but um i think I'm, I'm definitely going to be able to make this work because uh, these are way better shocks. So, what I think I'm going to do is uh, bend these ears out just a bit. I'm um, probably going to have to do top and bottom. Um, it does look like, yes, top and bottom is going to have to be bent out a little bit. So, uh, I'm going to take a pry bar and get in between this and just bend these ears out. And, uh, and then you can see there's just where this... Uh, the stabilizer arm comes in it's just everything on this thing is just wobbly and worn out so uh, we're definitely going to bend these out real quick and throw these shocks on and this should be a pretty big upgrade for this go-kart so you see anything wrong with this picture uh, of course i should have put the shock in like this before knocking it down in there so i got the bolt in and everything but uh no good so we got to pop that bolt right back out Okay, we got that bottom sitting down in there, and uh, let me tell you, I had the beater in there. Now you can see the top needs, uh, the whole A arm needs to be compressed up to uh, push that the rest of the way in. So I'm going to see what I can do by putting my jack under that right there, and uh, my buddy will be here shortly, and I'm going to have him stand on the go-kart, try to keep the actual frame of the go-kart down so I can push that shock up into that uh, bolt hole. So uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, just as I suspected, that's uh, definitely not going to work. I can even tell with him here, he only weighs like 150 pounds. So that's definitely not going to work. So um, pretty much just going to have to keep bending those ears out until it'll slide right up in there. So uh, let's push that right back out and get her hammer out. Okay, after pounding the mother flipping crap out of this thing, I found, finally got it in. I'm going to take the impact and a wrench and uh, tighten up those bolts. But they definitely look... A million times better than those uh, other cheap dinky shocks. Now you can tell the cool springs are a lot longer. I don't know how much travel these have, but surely being off of ATV, they're more than enough. So um, I'm going to tighten down this side and uh, then go start slapping on the other side. Well, look who finally decided to show up. Half the freaking work's done. It's only 11:30. <laughs> don't bit. Oh gosh, this is a mother effort bending these tabs out. So I found the best way to do it is uh, take the old monkey wrench and uh, just get a good bite on them and bend them out. I know this is not ideal, but uh, we'll probably see how these shocks do. And if they do really good, then I'll, I'll bend new tabs for them and cut these off the frame and weld new ones on. But first we want to test it and it's not going to hurt these to be bent out any. So uh, go ahead and bitch in the comments if you want. Okay, we got both those shocks put on. Like I said, I had to beat the far out of those uh, shock ears, mounting ears, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure someone will correct me in the uh, comments below. They always do. I think they get joy out of their life by correcting me when I say a tool's the wrong name and whatnot. So uh, what do you think about that? Well, I did all the work, so I'm the one that should be pissed. Look at his forehead. Look at mine. I'm so fat and I'm side to side. Yeah, that's what it is. It's all the blubber making you sweat. What a jackass. Okay, so um got those shocks put on. They're twice as beefy as you can see those little farts, those little chrome ones compared to those beefy mothers. So it should actually lift the go-kart a little bit in the front end. Quite a bit actually. Um which is gonna be really nice, really nice. Um so I got that one bent A arm off. I just need to take the uh, other one off real quick. And uh, then the only thing I need to do is get these tie rod ends. As you can see, that one's got a little bit of hangulation on it. And uh, this one from where they wrecked it is uh, bent worse than my grandpa's PP. So we get all that done and put new bushings. Those wheels have uh, plastic bushings in them and they're war slap out. 
So uh, we're going to replace them with some uh, metal ones. Should be better. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, cut that break off of the rear. Uh, so, put the yeah. slicks on it, you know. <laughs> yeah, put those on. It looked like a uh, 1990 Mexican mobile with the 10-inch uh, Dayton skating. We're all about drifting and speed. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah. So... Uh, I think that's all we're going to be able to get done for the night. Uh, got both those shocks put on the front of that, and man, they look a million times better, don't they, Lon Treasy? That they do. It's like uh, double the thickness when you uh, compare them. He's going to hold one up for you. I mean, side to side comparison. Look at the thickness difference. I mean, it's like that's twice as beefy as that little rinky dink thing. But um, I think as long as the shocks uh, work well, we're going to keep them on it. And then uh, the last thing we'll have to do, which I'm probably going to have to do it tomorrow, is uh, cut this brake off because it's already past 12 and I'm going to be at work at 8 in the morning. Um, but i got to cut all that brake junk off, all that flat stock, and then I'm going to take that caliper and put it on Skittles. And by the way, first ride Skittles video coming up tomorrow. So what we're going to do is uh, have like a little rips knot. I'm going to be on Skittles and he'll probably be on uh, Little Red, little red which time. is right there. Uh, little Red's one of my favorite go-karts. That little clutch. I kind of like a clutch I found more than a torque converter. That almost seems like a sin. But uh, the freaking torque converters, they just feel like, I mean, they've got that good takeoff and they break, snap your neck, but they don't have the top end like a clutch does. So uh, what I'm going to do is grease the chain real good on uh, Little Red and then adjust that motor so there's no uh, chain skip. And we're going to have a good little ride video tomorrow. So be looking forward to that. Y'all will probably see it on Friday. So um, thanks for watching, guys. That's all we're going to have on this one. Sorry, it's a short video. We're going to get that brake taken off uh, hopefully tomorrow night. So there should be a good amount of videos coming up uh, here in the next few days. But don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. Don't forget to comment below and check me out on Facebook. And always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out. So am I.